against him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, let's just quickly move on to your old side, Liverpool. They beat Bournemouth three-one. Of course, they were a goal down. Could have been two as well, but Diaz, Salah, and Jota all on. <laughs> Could have been two. How would you get that in? Well, because the, <laughs> well, the first one was offside, or they ruled out. For no, offside. no, you're right. But it's the attention to detail you show because it was Liverpool, and with your mob, you started on top. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's say it fairly then. I hear what you're saying. Let's start with Liverpool. They could have and should have been two 0 down. Um, what um, what did you make of, of their performance? And again, Sabozlai, I thought for the second week running, he was fantastic. Yeah, real positive, Andy. I, I think um, I was I was a bit, well, not confused, wrong word. I, I was uncertain where he was going to play him, whether he was looking at him as, you know, ahead of two holding or, or just an out and out eight, go on, free him up. Mm. Um, he looks an absolute powerhouse. He's got a lovely elegance about him as well. He's got like a real awareness of where people are around him, wearing that eight as well. I mean, talk about bravery. Yeah, give me the eight, no problem. It's he, he is everything and more that anyone thought he was going to be, and already in these two games. Sometimes you watch footballers and you know straight away. I've had people said it about Moose Dembele. I remember the first day I trained with Dembele, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I saw Sir Bosley last week and I was like, oh my God, got one here. Did you say it when you were at Fulham and you saw Darren Bent? I, he, no, uh, I, was with, uh, I, was with, I was with... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't with him at Fulham. I was with him at Charlton. Oh, Charlton, I meant, sorry. I, no, I didn't think that on the first day. But... Oh, that's giving you a chance to get out of that problem. <laughs> but he did He did over, He did did over. Uh, convince me otherwise. Um, yeah, Liverpool started really slowly. I mean, the game last week was the complete opposite. Started right on the front foot against Chelsea. Got a bit sloppy against Bournemouth. Could have found themselves two down, as you said. And, um, you know, the, they've got to kick up the backside. The problem, you, problem you've got, you do that against a good side, you mm. could be in a world of trouble. So, mm. yeah, not not all perfect, but got over the line. And yeah. I thought I thought the way they handled the game with 10 men was good. OK. Benny, do you remember the first time you saw Murph? Yeah, very good player. Sure, yeah, it's not what you just said to me in the break. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just quickly get your views on this, Murph? Uh, a bit of breaking news this evening. Man City have agreed a £55 million deal to sign Jeremy Doku, or Doku from Rennes. He's a Belgium international. Um, it could be Mahrez's replacement. His league oh, stats last season, 29 appearances, six goals and two assists. Do you know too much about him or is it too early for that question, Dan? I've seen a bit of him for Belgium. Yeah. Uh, dynamic. Yeah, he's got... He's, he's, a, he's a real threat. You know, he's difficult. He's going to be hot to handle. Hard, hard for people to... My marking one on one, but yeah, no, he, he he's a he's a project, isn't he? He's going to have to mm. do some work with him. Those numbers aren't brilliant. Um, I mean, he was he was in and out for Belgium when I saw him in the Euro. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting if he's they rarely get it wrong. See, yeah. yeah, and you know what? As well, they do it so quick. Their deals, there's none of this. Well, do you know, what? I don't think they do it quickly. I think they've got their targets in mind, and they don't do what other teams do. Go in once, they, they just get the deal done. And when the times are right, they get the deal yeah. done. He's quick, he's quick, this lad. He's gonna, he's gonna be give him a threat behind and one on one. He'll, he'll go past people. But I can't think of too many players at City who he hasn't improved. You know, a couple of times he signs players and you think, mm, not sure, not sure. Bravo. And it, well, yeah, but you know, like <laughs> I'm when being he, facetious. I know, but if you look at a Kanji come in, wow. people yeah, are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now he looks like an absolute Rolls Royce. Yeah. I mean, Grealish took a little while. Now he's True. flying. Every player improves under him. Yeah. Shame you two weren't there. Uh, yeah, but you're, big shame. You're, you're, you're <laughs> financially wouldn't as well. be on the radio for I know, one. Yeah. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.